what Pac-Man was going to sound like. How did I decide what Pac-Man was going to sound like? Well, that was a special case because I was actually voice matching somebody from Canada because we did the video game based off the TV show, uh, Pac-Man the Ghost of Andrew. So I basically just did my best impression of, uh, I believe her name's Erin Matthews from Canada. And um, that's how I came up with the voice. Not really my voice, <laughs> but uh, they do say that uh, imitation is like the best form of flattery. So it is actually a good practice to learn how to imitate people and then create your own characters based off that. Uh, but if you can't imitate somebody perfectly, and there does happen to be a voice match product, then you know that's always a good skill to have too. Uh, and if there doesn't, then create your own characters based on that. So yeah, thank you so much. Okay, yeah, I think we might as well end the Q&A here. Sure. Yeah, are you happy to do that? Yeah. Yeah? Seems yeah. like there are people here for the next thing. Yeah, maybe we're all winding down a bit the day. It's getting a bit slow, isn't it? We're all tired. I would take an empty chair, too. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, can everyone give a, a big hand to find everything? <laughs> for the show to do the death metal. I don't know how many people actually took up on the offer. Um, I personally didn't. I want to keep my voice intact. Um, I've screamed before for roles, but I think death metal is a completely different beast. I actually watched a video after the fact where it was this guy who I'm assuming did death metal or like knew people that did death metal. And he, you know, was going up to just random people in street or whatever and he'd be like you know do your best death metal scream and then people would just be like Ugh. and then they'd laugh at themselves because they're like oh man it sounds stupid that's not what death metal sounds like and then the guy would be like oh so so you're saying that like death metal is harder and it's like a, a practice skill that you need to learn and they'd be like yeah yeah i guess you're right so um after that because i hadn't thought about it before but it is definitely something like most things where if you want to do it really well, you've got to know how to do it correctly so that you're not hurting yourself and you've got to have, you know, months to years of practice to be able to do it. So I unfortunately did not have the time to try to learn, <laughs> but I really respect people that do know how to do it. Um, the guy that, that uh, is doing it currently, the death metal voice, his name is James Boas, and he's an actual, like, musical performer. He does death metal songs, and he's fantastic. So um, I'm, uh, and he's, he's kind of relatively, like, I don't want to say newer, but more people don't. Most people don't know his name as well, so it's kind of cool that he got to be involved with this, and, and you know he gets to show off his like special skill to the world. Even though a lot of people do think it's me, uh, I don't know why. I don't sound like a man screaming. Um, at least I don't think so, but I guess a bunch of people do. But um, but yeah, it is really cool that he gets to kind of show off his talent to the world. And it's been good for his music career too. So yeah. But, yeah contest, the cosplay contest, and the rising star contest. Though I only have the notes for the skit contest. <laughs> Who's got the cosplay contest? Is there a problem? Well, I'll do, I'll, I'll do the skit contest first. Um, usually we give just one prize every year, but uh, given the standard, really, given the standard recently, uh, we decided to give um, trophies to first, second, and third. Yeah, I'm just having a drink. Alright. Okay, so, uh, anybody want to hold the third place trophy and bring it over? I've, I've exercised enough. The time the escalators to go downwards and I was on the bottom floor. And what's your what's, what's the camera, boy? Uh, 10,373. 12,192. Get on my level. <laughs> Yeah, third, third skit. Not third scat, that's a different trophy. <laughs> 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 Ooh, blue jokes. Please do not sign <laughs> We've got announcements to make first. So, third place. They're all terrible people. Um, so, third place was Nevermore, Bill and Ford. <laughs> Don't be shy. Come on, Bill. Thank you! 
very good for us there. And second place, which uh, warrants a slightly bigger skit. <laughs> Lindsay Rose. So our winner of the general cosplay competition was Freddie Kirby as Roadhog. I have a louder microphone than you, don't bother. So, so Freddie Kirby, can you come to the stage, please? Ah, there we are. Thank you very much. The cost of the price for the which I believe is the bundle of the month. Go on, Sid. Is that okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, the general cosplay contest winner. Is there one? Just got the side, there should be. Is there a prize there yet? Or? No, not yet. We'll just put it on the bar. Oh, okay, okay. It's okay. Just go, go behind the stage, there's nothing on the wall there. That's what she thinks. He's trying not to leave behind backstage, but they just don't listen to him. Okay, Rising Stars, which has a trophy, which looks like a star. Is there a Rising Star? There's a fingerprint. Okay. Don't mention that part. So, for Rising Stars, it is Rhiannon Holland as the. Keep them protected. Ignore the big, dirty, smudged fingerprints all over them. I did nothing of the sort. You can't prove it's fake news. Oh, I got a member of disapproval, man. Oh, no, that was too spicy. Let's not do that again. Right, so third place trophy. <laughs> So third place is Bethan Bellona, the Roman goddess of war.
Second prize goes to Katie Elwood and Jun Wan for the Red Mage and White Mage from Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> I would like a drum roll from the audience. Oh. I'm going to see how it fits into the chairs next to them on their knees. So the first place for me is... Madeline Garnold! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Madeline Garnold! Oh. Yes. Yeah. 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 Once again, the winner of our Masters contest. And Breezy. These two enjoy bidding wars. These two are the reason why. I'm really joking me and uh, all of a sudden. This is. This is, this is it. Yeah, I remember that. That's the weirdest part. I really do. I just remember you just kind of like, SET MY PLANS! I was like, alright, oh, well, he's winning, man, I'm guessing. But these two have a habit of getting into a bidding war. I'm going to give the newbies a chance, because the older people should know better by now. If either of these two bid against you, just give up. You're not going to win. He does it for fun, he does it for spite. <laughs> Although that writer isn't you for fun, you for spite. Why not both? <laughs> both, both is good. Five minutes before the end of the world. I mean, I mean, my pride gets. I mean, uh, everything goes wrong. They <laughs> are. Uh, to be fair, I'm actually a bit today. I'm currently only on uh, eleven thousand steps as opposed to twenty-five. So, thank you very much again. If you see either of these two bidding against each other, please remember, boys. Please be ruled. You made the best bit of win. Whoever's got you, get that line. Fifty pound on there. Fifty. Twenty pounds on here. Thirty-five. 25, 25. <laughs> 30, 30 pounds. What? 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30 pounds. 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 Seventy pounds. Seventy pounds. Seventy pounds. Seventy pounds going once. Seventy pounds going twice. Eighty pounds. Greasy betrayal. Right. Eighty pounds. 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 Thirty-five pounds, forty pounds. 
45 pounds, 50. <laughs> 65 pounds, 65 pounds. I've never seen someone argue with the person next to me. It's like, get down! 60, what was it going to be? 65? 65, 65. Can't find anything higher than 65. 66. 66. <laughs> Do you just want to fight it out and then tell me what number you come to? No, 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 no. What was the number that we just got set? What was that? We want the monetary value, not the fudge. 73 pounds, 73 pounds, 73 pounds, 73 pounds, 73 pounds, 73 pounds going once, 73 pounds going twice, 73 pounds going three times, and sold. My god, that was actually amazing. Literally, if you didn't see that, one of the things that the person next to just stood and went, no! They then stood up and replied. It was like watching Breezy and Sam butt out of the Power Rangers helping again.